trapping season's been in for one week now, uh, actually today, um, but I haven't set many traps, and the reason is because I've been archery hunting, and I am going to set the woods that I archery hunt in, but I don't want to disturb the deer patterns right now, but, um, you know, this is, this is just our road up to the back fields, and, uh, there's a small game trail that runs right across it. You can probably pick it up right here and it runs into the woods like that. Um, and then on the other side of the road, same idea. You can probably pick it up running right through here and into the weeds. Uh, and you can tell that's a small game trail because it's so thin. And when it hits the weeds, uh, the small game just kind of run underneath the weeds instead of trampling them down. So deer don't actually use this trail. Um, so I'm going to set some, I have found coon poop here too, so I'm going to set some dog proofs here and see if we can't get a coon. Uh, the way a lot of people set dog proofs, um, they're really easy to set. Coon are very stupid animals. They're one of the easiest animals to catch. Um, they follow their nose and they follow their stomach, um, and that's why they're so easy to catch. Um, so I think a lot of people overthink it. There's a reason everybody has a, a method out there, and the reason is everybody's method works. So my philosophy is if everything works, let's go with the cheapest one that works. So I'm going to show you my setup, and my bait that I use. So the trail runs right up through here and then right by this big tree. Um, normally I'd try to find a a decent sized tree to anchor to. This one's too big for my setup right now, uh, which I just have a piece of steel wire on it and it has kind of a cinch on it. So um, I, I would want to put it right on the, the actual trail and have that coon damn near bump into it. Um, but I'm gonna probably just set this one over here. So I'm gonna go behind, go on this tree. I mean, they won't be able to pull that out of the ground or anything. Basically, I'm just gonna go around there with the wire, open up my loop, put my trap through it, and then cinch it down. All right, there you have it. I cinched it down so it tightens down onto that. Just creates kind of a noose on there, on the tree. And I'm gonna try to pull it as close as I can, and then it's anchored in the ground. Um, so we're looking at maybe you know, three feet away from the trail. Uh, I'd want it to be right on the trail, but we're gonna go with what we have right now. So, all right, so we're ready to bait the trap, and this is where you know there's a hundred different opinions on what bait you can use to trap coons, uh, and everybody, every trapper's got their own special ingredients and special recipe that works the best. Um, the reason I think that is, like I said earlier, is because they all do work. Uh, so, my opinion is go as cheap as you can, because anything works. Uh, when you think about a coon, they, they pretty much will eat anything that smells good to a human. So if you make something that smells okay, that you could debate about eating, then uh, a coon will probably eat it too. Um, and they do have a pretty mean sweet tooth, so you're going to keep that in mind and try to appeal to that sweet tooth. Uh, some people use marshmallows and stuff like that, and it's something for them to grab and pull that trigger in the bottom of there. Um, but marshmallows do... Kind of disintegrate when it rains so what i use is uh whole corn with bacon grease that mixed in and uh mixed in until basically you mix as much in until it gets pretty sticky and there's pretty much just bacon grease covering all the corn so the whole corn acts as like a base and people use dog and cat food as their base um, but i get my corn for five bucks for a 50 pound bag um, and that's pretty cheap. So I don't think you're going to find dog or cat food for five bucks for a 50 pound bag. So, and then I, you know, I put the bacon grease in there to kind of appeal to their sweet tooth. Um, and that's all I do, uh, for the bait that goes in the trap. So I put that right in the trap, fill it up to the top. And then, you know, I, when I was young and pretty dumb, I, trying to start out trapping coons and I bought some commercial lure um, coon lure well I guess it's not coon lure it's uh, bait but uh, so you know to try to keep this and make it last I just take a little bit of it 
and rub it on the top of the trap there uh, around the rim and that just you know is a little bit more of an extra attractant that maybe will pull them in from a little bit further away get their get their scent going um, to pull them in so uh, that's pretty much all I do I'm gonna bait this up and then I'll show you what it looks like baited and, uh, and that's pretty much it all right so there it is baited and set um, and that's about it like I said if I could have I would have put it right smack dab in the middle of the trail uh, I did set one on the other side of the, the road as well uh, and that one's smack dab in the middle of the trail because I brought a stake for that one there you have it next morning and I got a pretty nice sized coon in this trap this is the trap that I set right on the smack dab in the middle of the trail um, and you know if they're running them trails they can't help but uh, check out and investigate that smell so I didn't get one on this trap over here I'm not sure if he was coming from this way and missed it um, but I, I assume he probably came from this thick stuff came out hit that trap and got caught right away um, this one pretty much undisturbed you know the bait's still in there even on the top lip of the trap nothing nothing even came by and licked it off so you know there's the proof like I said uh, coons are pretty stupid they follow their stomach um, they're, they're really easy to catch so don't don't overthink it keep it simple and uh, keep it cheap that's the way to do it so thanks for watching and uh, go catch some coon out there